and explosions triggered on the Stanford training area in Norfolk as RAF regiment gunners approach a replica Afghan compound in their final week of pre-deployment rehearsal. In October, they'll be in Helmand, facing not only improvised bombs for real, but a rising threat from among their Afghan partners. The risk of local troops turning their guns on their mentors is hard to spot, but detecting signs of treachery are now covered in the training programme. It's very much the relationship that we foster with our Afghan colleagues. Um, you're well aware we've got the Tongan Defence Service uh, out there as well, which the RF regiment trains, um, and I certainly did that in my previous job. And in partnering with our, our allies, you, you get to know uh, the lay of the land and how, how we operate. And hopefully, uh, God forbid, anything should happen on, uh, on them you know, turning on us, and it is a very uh, select few incidences that do happen. We'll be uh, prepared uh, just for that, and we'll be able to avert it before it actually uh, happens. The Air Force's own infantry and police carry heavy responsibility of security for the mission-critical airhead at Camp Bastion, patrolling out into the surrounding area, engaging with locals. Those returning admit to being wary, but still relish the challenge of serving once more in a vital mission before it draws to a close. Camp Bastion being one of the main airheads in Helmand province, we've got to make sure that that airhead can operate and our main intent is to keep the personnel inside safe and the aircraft safe. Given what's been happening, a degree of apprehension is understandable, but as the training here concludes, confidence rises, and that's a process that will continue once they reach Helmand and are updated there on the very latest level of threat. Meanwhile, practice is painstaking. But when all branches of the military have to justify their cost, the RAF is also keen to argue their own soldiers bring unique skills to keep the vital air bridge open. Air power is, is key to the battle in Afghanistan. And obviously, being, being Air Force, we've got a little bit more knowledge than you just your general army soldier. And um, this is our job at the end of the day, to protect the aircraft and the people on the ground. The rehearsals go on here. Sentries practice dispatching a suicide bomber. Dash! Use your hands, use your hands. Dash! Who's ignored warnings in Pashtu and charged the main gate. But those taking part in these scenarios know targeting real turncoats, potentially inside the wire, may prove much tougher. Jeff Mead, Forces News, Norfolk.